Hello everybody, my name is Gadden Mar. Welcome back for another video of Vampire. We're gonna continue this series as I was walking towards the mansion of Lady, Lady Ashbury. Well, close by anyways, we're a hundred meters from there. The vampire that created us wants to talk to us, so I had to start recording already, boys. So let's let's do this. Let's not waste too much time here, see what he, he wants exactly. What do you want? You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away, whoever you are! This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. Uh, I'm not your champion. I insist you be quiet. Go away. Um, I insist you, you know what, I insist you be quiet. I insist you be quiet! Son, do you not see? You are the healing bar. I had to kill Mary! I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to me. Silence! I dismiss you, now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence. I'm just a killer. I'm now. I'm Tired no champion. Tired of all these puppet shows. What is this garbage, boys? All right. Let's see uh, what we gotta do. Where we gotta go? Especially. What are those? Okay. Scal's level 24 and 20. Okay, they're pretty strong. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, these uh, these can teleport. They're pretty strong. There we go. They're dead though because I'm way stronger than them at this point, but Gotta keep in mind though. Oh, uh, I think I gotta go there. Yeah, there we go Um, What? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the entrance. So let's see where Lady Ashbury is. I'm not entirely sure we, what this, our mansion looks like. It's gonna be interesting, boys, to say the least. Oh, there's some uh, soldiers right here. Oh, hey, Jan. There's another, another vampire here. What? Who is this? Okay, this is a scout for sure, but... Oh yeah, I know. Okay, you are annoying. You're between a fight of vampires. You do not fit there. Okay, who is this? I can't see the camera angle. What the hell? Okay, we kill them. This guy was uh, interesting, boys. I think it was a skull, but much like more evolved than uh, the the other ones. And they continue to heal myself up. There we go. I've got so much health now. Oh, there so it is. That's our mansion. She lives. What a splendid house. It truly is. We're in her house, I guess. Let's see what's gonna happen, boys. Doctor Reed, welcome. How are you? So, As what does she want to talk to me about? Considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We Still haven't figured out how... How was it possible that Mary... Like, I haven't... I, hope I, have I don't remember started. transforming her. Not at all. That's like... Plot Actually, twist right there. On you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him, but I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Uh, why is she calling me Ekon? Must be like a rename for maybe Vampire or Young Blood or something like that. Why keep on mocking me? Call me Jonathan. Stop me. Stop calling me that. Yeah, why keep mocking me? Why do you continue to mock me? 
Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? First off, I'm not your friend. Second off, I haven't been pretty good. Mary was the murderous vampire. My maker must be powerful. I don't want to talk to her. I have shit to say to her. My turn to ask the questions. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. Where's she leading me to? I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe, and of course to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me? Yeah, what's the I purpose? to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Really? Um, who are they? Why use you? Should I trust them? They have always been a threat. Uh, who are they exactly? Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. Okay, so they're the big bosses, I guess. How many are they? Will they fight Prairan? How many How are they? Many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Yeah, I figured that pretty much. Uh, they're not—they're never gonna fight uh, Prewen, but I'm gonna ask him. Like the guard of Prewen. I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. Really? That was one of their weapons, huh? Not that impressive, I gotta say. All the, the most impressive thing was the fact that he was reflecting like some sort of mirror onto the water that was blinding me like hell. But the rest, it was pretty easy to defeat. Should I trust them? Why use you? Uh, yeah, why use you exactly? Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. They tr did they trade in you? Why not ask your help? Why not ask for your help? Since you are obviously a powerful and influential... Yeah, you you might be you more powerful than me. I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon, for I am a woman. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. Okay. Should I trust them? No, I'm gonna say the Alvor has been a threat. They have done nothing. I don't trust them. Heed my investigations since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave. Well, I'm not you. Ascalon Club. Ah, uh, I don't have a choice, boys. 
Who is he exactly? Tell me about Lord Redgrave. I want to, s I want to know everything, boys. Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? How old is he exactly? How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. I don't know who William Marshall is. Sorry in advance for if any of you guys or girls know who William Marshall is. You guys can let me know. I really don't know. I have no idea. Well, you heed your advice. I must meet him. I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Um, Prewen and Ascalon will fight? Oh, they will really fight? Hmm. Will the guard of Pre I doubt the Ascalon can will ever fight. I doubt fight, it. But. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. Prewen has a last. Should we, f should we fight back? No. Yeah. Should we fight back? Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. I doubt that. I really disagree on that. Did you have a list? I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts they are a resourceful lot okay well you should flee then if you're flee then if you think you're in danger leave london the country even i have seen the guard in action they are merciless your concern warms my heart jonathan but fear not if the situation gets too dangerous i shall retreat to my secret scottish manor I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my Oh, peer? could he be? If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, will I ever find my maker? Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Need to Maybe find him and kill him. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire. But most of those fled England long ago. Was it you? Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask. The only true vampire I see is you. Did you make In me? In this city. Oh, Jonathan. I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal, but I swear I had nothing to do with it. I don't trust you. No clue at all. No idea at all. You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. This is not enough. I want to see him right now. God damn. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. Will you go to Pembroke uh, when we we'll, we meet again? Oh, thank you so much. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. 
I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. Your heart's beating. Deceptive by nature. But this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me. She's in love with me. Okay. Very intriguing. Jonathan seems to have the same feelings, boys. It might be just her that's controlling him, though, because she's a really powerful fire. She has very powerful mesmerized level. Don't you worry, boys. All right, let's speak to Lady Ashbury. That's done. Uh, Shadow Cabinet, meet Ascan leaders and gain his trust. Okay. Club. So we gotta uh, we gotta talk to the big boss, I guess. Let's go. Um, while we're doing that, while we're going, oh, this is a really nice car. Nice. Um, while we're going, boys, oh, it's loading. Um, I wanted to say, don't you worry, if I have the chance again to talk to Lady Ashbury, it seems like she's in love with me, but I don't quite trust her just yet because I don't know. She's been helping me, but she doesn't want to tell me who my maker is until I know for sure who my maker is it's either she's in love with me or like she actually likes me or loves me like maternally like she is actually my maker and stuff that's probably it if if she if i find out that she's been hiding stuff from me enter. all this time around and uh that uh i figured it out i had to figure it out on my own it's gonna go badly for her. It's gonna really go bad for her. There's another one of these uh, vampires, maybe. I don't know. There's, they seem like vampires because Scalos won't be that. You know, okay. He's got the abilities. He's got really strong abilities, so good lord. There we go. I got you too, bitch. I've got the same ability. Okay, you're annoying. Holy shit. Okay, we got him, boys. These are strong. These vampires are strong. You can tell that you're. We are close to the Epsilon Club. We're really close. Don't have enough blood to heal myself up. It's going up over time, though, so we're good. Okay. So a hundred meters from here. Keep out. Okay, so this is a. Uh, This is actually one of the uh, areas, boys. One of uh, the safe area, safe house. Look at him! Really strong. But he's getting destroyed by them. Interesting. All right. Um, yeah, we're getting close to a safe house. That was the vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. The vampire I saw earlier, huh? Interesting. It's locked. It won't open from this side, really? I gotta find another way in? Okay, I need a key, boys. Maybe if I go towards this, I go all the way around. Yeah, there we go. Don't know if the I'm gonna encounter other vampires. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. 
I'm gonna hide for a minute. Turn, stun. Bite his ass. So gain more blood. There we go. I'm gonna kill these, uh, this one because he's the most dangerous one first. There we go. Most dangerous one, so we gotta kill him. Okay, these two are dead. Okay. Let's see what we got here, boys. Got that. All oh, taking all the resources. West End, all right. A new hideout is available. Okay. Heart of British vampire society. Not quite as subtle as I expected. Oh. This is a an area where there's people actually in it. Is that the Oh, that's the actual area where I never encountered this place, boys. So this is the first time I first place I encounter. Nice, I can talk to a bunch of people. All right, let me do that really quick, boys, before I talk to, I go talk to the console or what, not the club. I should have known you were one of them, Johnny. Why was I so blind? Alright boys, so before I did anything, I wanted to talk to you uh, about this place. This is apparently my mansion. This is my house now. I'm the man of the house since the mother of course died and everything. So apparently this is the mansion. This is a mansion where uh, the Reed's mansion basically. And this is my butler right here. Very interesting. His name is Avery uh, Cork. I can't uh, mesmerize him or kill him, so uh, well, good. Already went ahead and did um, a little uh, montage of the kills I did. I think I did two or three kills, boys, uh, during my uh, my stay in this city. So I'm going to show you that that montage, boys, for sure. Uh, the door is locked. Why don't I have the keys? This is my this is my mansion. This is my house. Don't know why I can't go to some places or. Uh, I don't know, boys. Seems weird. Let's go into my uh, new hideout. This is a really nice hideout. Really nice place for sure. I'm going to go ahead and refill everything. And uh, of course, you know, you guys know the drill by now. I'm just going to... Oh, there we go. That's the small key. I'm just going to go ahead and... I guess upgrade myself. And uh, go to the next day. And we're going to see how things go. Uh, the place it was serious. It probably will be critical, critical after I killed basically. Let me show you guys. I killed uh, one. No, so this is one of my my mother. So one and two. Okay, I only I only killed two people. There's actually uh, a girl which claims to be Charlotte Ashbury, which is um the daughter of Lady Ashbury boys, which is very interesting. Gonna have to figure out more about that. Uh, anyways, let's just uh, let's just go sleep, boys. All right, let's women. go, boys. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to the Absalom Club already. I, I've wasted a long, a lot of time already by just killing a bunch of people, talking to everyone I could see in the village. So it's gonna be really uh, in interesting to see what's gonna happen here in. Uh, this game so far has been a pretty good game. I really like it. I enjoy killing like people. I enjoy like biting them. I enjoy being a vampire basically. It's really cool. Who shall greet us boys in here? Who shall greet us? Oh, there we go. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I was I summoned an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. There we go. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Okay. A lot of blood, huh? You're not afraid to show it to your people. Right, uh, level six mesmerites, okay. 
Arthur Pempleton. Okay. There has been quite a battle here. They do a lot of damage, that's for sure, but they're very I'm powerful. Sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace them. This one's as powerful as Avery, though. You guys remember Avery, Sean Avery, or I think that's his name, or whatever. Killed him. What is that? A good dagger, okay. Okay, shillings. I'm gonna steal everything I can see. Oh! Okay, so Lord Finney. Lord Hutchinson and there's actually an unknown uh, an it's unknown guy right life. here which is actually a human if you don't know who he who's who then that means it's a human it's a lot of uh, stuff I can actually steal right here which is interesting I'm interested to see what this is all about really because what do they want exactly, what exactly they want out of me? That's what I want to figure it out. They don't work with other vampires. I don't want to work with them, but whatever. Let's see what they want, boys. Good evening. That's the human right here. Why is he with a bunch of vampires? My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansha was no match for him. Here, here, here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. What is actually this, uh, do you want with me? Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Have you now? Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Uh, I admire her. She's a close friend. She has proven useful. That's all I'm going to say. She has proven useful. She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Yeah, exactly. You're prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of the Skull Plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End. But the time has come to open up a second front here. Yeah. The epidemic has a. He wants me to be their soldier. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why now? Uh, why me? Why suddenly so friendly? Why me? Why do you suddenly need me? The Ascalon Club only recruits the best, and you definitely fit the bill. Okay. Your scientific and medical reputation alone would qualify you as a candidate. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End. Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? Not yet, no. Uh, don't speak about my family. No, I don't. No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. 
a member, huh? So right now I, it's either I have no choice to join or I can ask questions first. First I'm gonna have questions because Before not I sure answer, what exactly that applies. So questions. Please ask. What does yeah, what does it imply? What does it mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the crown. That you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Have you any official recognition? Am I su supposed to obey? No. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire. But the true nature of its members remains a secret. Interesting. Uh, I killed one of yours. What is the, uh, what is the club purpose exactly? Because I don't get it right now. We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. Why does Ascala? What does Ascala mean? W found the club? William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. Okay, did you kill him or something? I killed one of yours. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all Skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. Well, that means I can't be replaced easily as well. Keep in mind, Fergal can be replaced, I can be replaced. That's I all I'm saying. The club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. Okay. Are you gonna give me some good blood or something like that? Someone to bite or My something? My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Am I pure? Do you serve and protect the crown as he did? I will. Yes. I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. Okay. Very intriguing, boys. I'm gonna join the club. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Let us do it. Sign with our blood. Mm, delightful. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! All right. I am one of you now, rich, egocentric piece of shit. All right, that's great. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's do it, boys. Talk to Lord uh, Redgruff. Who is this guy? I want to know who this guy is first He's off. Outrage. We shall chase these intruders Good down. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. Uh, Dawson, okay. Aloysius Dawson, I don't know who this guy is. I'm perfectly fine. 
I feel perfectly fine. Do I have cause for concern? Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room... Exactly, that's pretty much interesting. You draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Uh, you're famous? What? <laughs> Who is he? Are you a club member? Not afraid of vampires? You're famous. Mr. Dawson. Of Dawson and Dawson. Oh, okay. The wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. Interesting. About the Garda Purin. Situation in the West End. Money can't solve everything. Um, yeah. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a, a wall, okay. A formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. It's dangerous, it's efficient, it's unfair. Uh, uh, no, it's efficient. Complete isolation has proven effective throughout history. But the death toll has always been a high one. I am glad you understand the concept of necessary sacrifice. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns? Decisiveness is what the city needs. And it needs it now. Okay. If you say so. I think I'm going to end it right here, boys. We're going to talk to Lord Redgrave on the next video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.